Hello, we're the Irish football fan TV. We're continuing on with our team of the season. So far, we have Alabanis in goal. We have Roland Finn right back with Lee Grace and Pico Lopez as the other centre back with uh, Anto Breslin. I was almost going to say someone else there. Anto Breslin, a left back from Bowes with a midfield three of Chris Shields, Aaron McAniff, and Jack Byrne. So now we need our wingers and strikers. So we're going to start off with our left wing and Gary. There's not going to be as many as the midfielders in terms of your honourable mentions and stuff like that. So if you want to take us away with who kind of impressed you throughout the season, then obviously who you're actually going to pick as the left wing because it's a pretty tough position because there's a lot of good players in this position. Yeah, it's um, it's a few tough players. Um, one of the guys that impressed me, and maybe not so much as a left wing, left side of midfield, was uh, Walter Figuera of Derry City. Uh, some lovely touches, lovely passes, lovely on the ball, chipped in with four goals as well and possibly could have even had more of an impact. Uh, I'm going to mention Michael Duffy of Dundalk, um, who, I suppose, prior to Jack Byrne making such an impact, at one point would have been a candidate for the best player in the league. I, I, I don't think... Well, he didn't do enough to get in my team this season, but still had a fine season. I think four goals in the league as well. Um, the person that stood out for me uh, in left wing, and I appreciate Bo's uh, interchange and this kind, but uh, my left winger is, is Danny Grant. Uh, Danny got seven goals. He's only 20 years of age, just turned 20. He he got seven goals, and he was an absolutely crucial part of Bo's having such a superb season. And uh, play, him, play him as a left wing, I, I think he can really play either side and uh, I will go on and, and talk about that at, at another point but for me the standout uh, left winger in, in the SSE Electricity League for 2020 is Danny Grant Okay, um, well it's going to find it hard to argue but uh, yeah there's going to be a bit of a discussion here I'm sure, so Jerry, do you want to go through yours as well then? Yeah, I kind of more or less the same names as Gary there really with Walter Figueroa, Terry really thought he was very impressive when he came into the league after lockdown, scored four goals and got an assist and was definitely one of their standout players in what was an up and down season for them. I really kind of was, it came down in the end between Danny Grant and Michael Duffy for me. Duffy mainly for his European performance. You think back to that playoff victory in the Aviva in, in October, he was fantastic, he was brilliant that night. And even probably by his own standards and Dundalk standards, it was a disappointing league season, but still got four goals and five assists in what was essentially only really half the season we're normally used to. So that's still a good return. But I think it is hard to look past Danny Grant, as Gary touched on seven goals this season from 17 appearances. Player of the month for August. Got the hat-trick against Shelburne. Sorry, lads. Um, was called up in Sierra and done in 3-1 squads on a couple of occasions. Came on against Italy. And as we'll touch on as well with other positions, like the likes of him and Reich and a couple of these players, they could play anywhere across that front three. But he mainly played on the left. And for me, he gets the nod as well as my left winger on my team of the season. Nice. Paul Tierney, give us your um, honourable mentions and then the player ultimately that you would have as your left winger for the season. Yeah. Please. Well, I think the honourable mentions, like the lads have said, is it's few and far between. We have Michael Duffy in there who probably didn't have his best season, like the season before and the season before that. So he was fantastic for Dundalk. Um, for me, it has to be Danny Grant simply because of his form after lockdown. You look at some of the goals he scored, the quality of some of the goals he scored, the goal against Finn Harps, where his first touch was absolutely fantastic, the goal by the defender, and the chip against Cork, which is brilliant as well. Um, I mean, it has to be Danny Grant for me. He won the Young Player of the Season with the uh, PFAI, uh, has been called up to the 21s, and obviously that hat-trick against Shells, which really dented Shells' form after that as well. They, they were really... It really affected them badly, losing the Dublin derby like that, missing the pen on that game as well. So, Danny Grant for me. So, Danny Grant's a winner regardless. Um, I do think, you know, Michael Duffy, as, as Jerry said, you know, four goals, five assists, uh, playing on the left wing and in a poor season for Dundalk. It's still a pretty good return and I have him down in 16 appearances. I'm sure he's got more between Europe and, and obviously the cup final. But, yeah, Michael Duffy would have been in the argument at the start of the season, you know, with Jack Byrne as best player in the league and has produced over the last number of seasons. But I just think this season uh, hasn't been 
in terms of Dundalk as a whole, I suppose it hasn't been a great season for them. If you look at kind of previous seasons, and Michael Duffy's been the standout player more often than not throughout the league. I know Jack Byrne won it last year, and he was voted by the players. But do you remember when Duffy scored that goal to win the league up at Oriel Park? Absolute screamer! So he has had his moments, and obviously. Stephen Kenny's a massive fan. I wanted to call him up for it. He's still working on that paperwork. So there's still all those things there as well. So I do think with um, with Duffy, if you're looking for someone who in, in that position is the best, yes, you would say him. But I think for the terms of the season, uh, Danny Grant was the best on form with 17 appearances and 7 goals. And there was games where Grant and Twardek would interchange, as you mentioned, uh, Gary, and you're looking at Grant, who really stepped up this season so much so that Dan Mandreo probably would have been a player that everyone would have been talking about. And you would have imagined that he would have been in the reckoning at the start of the season to be in the team of the season no matter what, because he won the young player this season last year. But Danny, Danny Grant, he won the young player of the year. He was in the reckoning for player of the year. Just shows, uh, goes to show how well he did. He was obviously in the 21s, as Jerry said as well. Looks like he's like Jack Burr. Looks like he's gone to find a new challenge over in England. It looks like he's going to sign for Hull. It hasn't been confirmed either, but it does look like he's going to go there. Again, I would like to see him kick on now, and maybe this time next year he could be in the Ireland squad. But I do think between Duffy and him, it's it's very close. There's a couple of honourable mentions there with, you know, Billy King, left wing. I kind of struggle to find that many players that play left wing because of formations. Not that many teams play with kind of like a, a real left winger. Um. Barry McNamee uh, at Finn Harps, obviously a really good player, 15 goals, or 15 appearances, sorry, not 15 goals, um, one goal and 15 appearances, and playing for Finn Harps, I imagine that's tough, but we all know what a quality player he can be and has been over the years, definitely one of the best players in the League of Ireland. Uh, Chris Forrester is more of a free role, wouldn't really consider him as a, a, as a left winger. So, Nathan will do a 10 appearances and nothing really to show for it, he's done well in Europe, but nothing really in the league so I think yeah Danny Grant on form this season I don't think you can look past him but I do think Michael Duffy will next season if he stays with Dundalk because I don't know what the story is there I don't think he's been offered a contract yet so it'll be interesting to see if he stays at Dundalk or, or wherever he goes I'm sure he'll be looking to get back in the Ireland squad reckoning and kind of get into the squad I, I imagine that's something that he really wants to do now is he wants to try and get into the Ireland team uh, Jack Burns should be his inspiration in terms of someone playing in the league and getting into the squad. So, uh, hopefully he can he can do it next year. But Danny Grant as the left winger for me. So yeah, I think he's got all our votes there. So fair play to him. And again, I think he's someone who, hopefully now avoiding injuries and, and other things, can really kick on because he looks like he has that hunger in him. I mean, even last season from watching him, you know he's bulked up and he just he just looks like a real athlete now. And there was games, I remember there was a game against Dundalk and I think Bowles were up 2-0 after a couple of minutes and himself and Twardek were just ripping Dundalk to shreds. Yeah. And I think that goes to show what level that they were at throughout the course of the season. So unless you have any other arguments or anything to throw out there, I think it's fair to say Danny Grant, uh, left winger of the season. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, let us know your thoughts in the comments, guys. As always, don't get, forget to drop a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe as well. We're going to move on to our right winger of the season. 